uh, this is Ashok Kumar from Triple A department, working as associate professor. Now I would like to give lecture on transducers. So transducers, basically it is the part of instrumentation subject. Basically the definition of transducer is the device which converts any physical quantity into electrical quantity that is called transducer. So any physical quantity which is to be converted into electrical quantity. Right? So in transducer basically we have two parts are present. First one is sensing element. First one is sensing element and second one is transduction element. Transduction element. So these two are the basic parts which are involved in the basic structure of transducer. So what is the purpose of sensing element? The purpose of sensing element is whenever we give physical quantity so here I am just drawing the diagram sensor and this is the second part transduction element and here we can give the we can get the output here physical quantity we are giving as the input so whenever we give the physical quantity to the sensing element which is the first one this will be converted into measurable response it is converting into measurable response which will access input to the transduction what is meant by transduction transduction is nothing but the process the entire process of converting physical quantity into electrical quantity that is a process which is called transduction once the transduction process is completed we can get finally here electrical output this is the basic diagram behind transducers now i am moving to one more part which is the basic part of transducer one type of transducer I am going to discuss is LVDT. LVDT means linear variable differential transformer. Linear variable differential transformer or we can call it as linear variable displacement transducer this also we can call like this linear variable display right now i am going to explain one of the type of transducer lvdt lvdt means linear variable differential transformer or linear variable displacement transducer lvdt is one of the type of transducer what is the major purpose of lvdt LVDT is used to measure linear displacement. As here the name shows linear variable displacement transducer. Means as we know the definition of transducer is physical quantity to be converted into electrical quantity. Here what is the type of physical quantity we are giving as input? Displacement. Displacement is the physical quantity which is to be measuring by using LVDT. Right. So, what is the uh, major part or what is the basic diagram behind LVDT? That we will see now. Actually, LVDT consists of, the name shows here, transformer. As we know transformer, it consists of primary winding and secondary winding. Similarly, LVDT also consists of different types of windings. So, LVDT consists of as the transformer definition we have, here also we have two types of windings. One is primary winding, other one is secondary winding. So here I am showing the diagram of primary winding. This is the primary winding where 
we can give supply this is the primary winding let it be p p stands for primary now come for secondary winding lvdt consists of two secondary windings this is output voltage which is to be measured across secondary winding terminals lvdt consists of two secondary windings s1 and s2 secondary one secondary two here e s1 stands for output across secondary winding one e s2 stands for output across secondary winding two final output voltage e out is nothing but the difference between es1 and es2 now we just go through the turns how the turns will be included in this lvdt see as i told you you have two types of secondary two secondary windings we have these two secondary windings are having equal number of turns these are bounded by equal number of turns so that but these two are connected in series opposition that means whenever we get the output across two secondary windings the final output will be the difference between two secondary windings the difference between two secondary windings we can take it as output voltage and see here in between here we can have one core is present this is the core is present and here you can have this is called core arm where we can give the displacement to be measured whatever the displacement to be measured that will be giving here this is displacement to be measured this will be as i told you this is linear displacement now i just go through the detailed diagram how we can measure the displacement in terms of output voltage see here this is the primary winding once again i am drawing and here i am showing the secondary winding two secondary windings i am showing which they have connected in series opposition the output voltage we can measure here and here we can have a two individual output voltages here we can have core is present whatever the core i am showing here this i am showing here core here and here i can have core arm is present here we can give the displacement to be measured whenever the measurable displacement is given to core arm this core arm will move either inside or outside of the core so here we can have three basic cases are there according to those three basic cases we can measure the output voltage what is case 1 see here case 1 when core moves inside or right side when core moves inside or right side means this way then the flux linkages between primary winding and second secondary winding this one will be increases so that in this particular case es2 is greater than es1 okay then output voltage will be e out equal to es2 minus es1 so when core moves inside that is right side the flux linkages between primary winding and the second secondary winding will be increases this is case 1 now come for case 2 when core moves outside or left side when core moves outside or left side then the flux linkages between primary winding and first secondary winding increases therefore es1 is greater than es2 finally i can get e out equal to es1 minus es2 this is the second case come for last case case 3 
when core is at null position null position in the sense equilibrium condition where the flux linkages between two secondary windings and the primary winding are same in that case es1 should be equal to es2 so in this case es1 equal to es2 therefore e out is how much we'll get zero so according to the movement or displacement of the core arm to be measured the displacement will be converted into measurable output voltage which we can measure through voltmeter which is a electrical parameter so in this way we can convert the physical quantity displacement is converting into electrical quantity that is nothing but voltage so this is the clear explanation of lvdt right thank you